Let's get this mess over with. We know what's going to happen. After looking into the alanine cycle, also known as the Cahill cycle, it's really simple. You basically give the liver alanine and it gives you back glucose. This is not complicated. Welcome to Price Plow. Hey everyone, this is Mike with Price Plow. And so previously on Price Plow, we saw that glycine lowered my blood ketone levels and spiked insulin two out of three times. And therefore, I recommend that keto dieters stay away from it unless there's a good medical reason to, to use it. And so uh, the next thing up is that we are going to take L-alanine today and see if this does the same thing. The reason we're starting with glycine and alanine is because these are the two primary uh, amino acids in BPI Sports' best uh, both their best BCA supplement, but also their keto aminos. And I showed that the keto aminos knocked me out of ketosis three times. You know, I was above 0.5 and then I went below 0.5 after taking it, tried it with fasted training. It never worked. And I, the reason was because I believe that these uh, amino acids were glucogenic, especially glycine, which basically tastes like sugar, but we'll see about alanine as well. Unfortunately, I don't have a trusted NutriBio bottle for this because I don't think they sell it anymore, but um, Source Naturals is a very trusted brand got a brand new bottle right here so uh, let's give it a go let's see where my ketones and blood sugars are first I want to say that this is later in the day than usual I'm changing things up it's 11 a.m. and I'm 15 and a half hours fasted I've been as as many of you have been watching I haven't been doing the best at getting into deep ketosis and one of the reasons is that I believe I'm not fasting properly and uh, I'm coming in slightly full uh, or fuller than I should in some of these videos and I want to try changing it up so we're going to be doing these at 11 a.m. right now and that's going to be after I stop eating at around 7 30 p.m. the night before so we'll see how that goes for a little bit anyway let's get on with the tests all right day one first up blood glucose 79 that's more about what I want and I would expect that after being this fasted we'll see how that trend continues over the course of time, you've kind of watched my blood glucose levels start to drop. I'm starting to finally figure this out. This is actually uh, taking me longer than it should have, but that's another video for another time. Ketone time. Hey, 0 0.9. That's pretty good out of a uh, fasted state. This is what I'm starting to talk about. This is what I want. Uh, and so I think that the fasting might be what I'm going to need to get really better at being keto adapted. Anyway, you're not here to hear about that. You're here to find out if L-alanine is worth taking uh, if you're on a keto diet. Theoretically, the answer is no, but let's see what, let's see what happens in my body at least. All right, take a look at what we got here. Kind of looks like sugar again, just like glycine did. Five grams. I have no idea how this is going to taste, but uh, we're going to find out right now. <laughs> one day some one of these things is going to make me vomit or something cry but this is like, I, I think it's going to be sweet because if bpi wouldn't have put it into their amino blend if it didn't taste good mm -hmm. not as good as glycine a little bit of staleness to it Good. It's got a good swallow, though. That's funny, man. These, these glucogenic amino acids, they are like, I haven't like researched them very heavily, but they're almost like shaped like sugar enough that they kind of have a sweet taste to them or something like that. All right, I'll see you in 45 minutes, and then I'm going to be starving by that point. But I think we're going to continue with this method of uh, more fasting for me, and then I'm just going to slam in like 2,700 calories throughout the course of the eight hours afterwards. All right, I'll be back. Yes, we're back. Let's see the post-alanine blood glucose test. Started somewhere in the 70s. 85. All right, it went up. I forget how much I was at, but it went up uh, an appreciable amount. But then the real moment of truth is I came in. I'm now 16 hours fasted, a little bit over 16 hours fasted. My ketones were at 0 0.9. What happened after taking the alanine? Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm still in ketosis, but we've dropped 0.2 millimoles in just 45 minutes. Once again, why is this amino acid being added to a keto-based supplement? Why? 
All right. So um, we're going to try again tomorrow. Most likely the same kind of thing is going to happen, but these are the sacrifices I'm making for you. At this point, um, I have been told to look into the alanine cycle. So maybe after this video, we'll explain what's going on a little bit in uh, general terms. Or I'll find one of those really cool videos to link to. Uh, but until then, I'm fasted. I got a phone call in 15 minutes. I need to slam some food down right now. I will see you tomorrow because we're going to do this again. And uh, I'll come in 16 hours fasted once again. All right, day two, let's get this mess over with. We know what's gonna happen. After looking into the alanine cycle, also known as the Cahill cycle, it's really simple. You basically give the liver alanine and it gives you back glucose. This is not complicated. Any company putting this ingredient into a keto-based product should be ashamed of themselves. I'm kind of hangry right now, if you can't tell. Fasted about only 15 and a half hours. 73, all right, that's probably one of my lowest blood sugar levels to this point. So uh, the, the fasting thing is definitely uh, working for me so far. But let's see where the ketones are at, and then we're going to knock them down a couple points. All right, I'm stuck at 0 0.7. It's been like this for uh, a little bit. And uh, yeah, I had a couple carbs yesterday, but... Uh, Doing these amino acids isn't, isn't helping, but it's just how it's going to be. The question is, am I going to drop 0.2 and I'll stay barely in ketosis at, at 0.5? Or am I going to drop more than 0.2 and, uh, and this is going to knock me out of, out of ketosis, which is exactly what BPI Sports' keto aminos that had this ingredient in it did. So uh, let me get a spoon ready to go. All right, there's my five grams worth of uh, the alanine, Source Naturals. And as always, when this goes wrong, don't blame Source Naturals. They're doing exactly what we're telling them to do. In fact, uh, let me just take this bite real quick and get this going. Not sure if they're supposed to chew amigos, but... Oh, come on. Not bad. Again. Okay, so... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, as usual... Don't hate the player, hate the game. Source Naturals providing definitely what, what seems to be the alanine because of what happened yesterday or two days ago, actually. Uh, but hate the game, you know. Source and so you can't blame the company for giving an amino acid that I am telling it. In fact, that's the thing is I basically – let me check the time right now. Okay. I basically just programmed my body to produce glucose. If you look at it, what, I, what we're doing when we eat certain foods is we're giving our bodies instructions. And as you, as you start to lose more weight and you, come, and you become more in tune with your body, you're going to start noticing that it's really just a series of chain reactions that you control. You control by putting the food in your mouth. Now, it's tough when you're eating a whole food like a big salad or whatever. Then, you know, obviously there's a lot of different stuff in there. But realize that when you're breaking it down to very, very core basic uh, foods or single ingredient items such as alanine, what I just did is I am programming my body. I am instructing my body, telling my liver, hey, go make glucose. That's basically what's going to happen. I'll show a, a picture here. It's not a complicated reaction. And uh, anyone who's formulating supplements really should know this. I'm not, I'm not a supplement formulator, uh, but as someone who has to critique them, the more you get into this stuff, the more you realize that, you know, it's basically just cause and effect, you know, if this, then that. And really what we're doing right now is telling my body, hey, go make some glucose. And that's exactly the opposite of what uh, keto dieters want to do. And so, again, you know, I, I can't say it enough times. It's shameful that anyone trying to sell a keto supplement would put this in there. Uh, but anyway, I take the sacrifice for you figuring this out, getting the reviews going, and seeing how at least my body responds. But, hey, we all basically have the same kind of functioning liver. Uh, it, it just may happen more or less for other individuals. But it looks like with this amino acid, it's going to be detrimental for any keto dieter. And there, I might say, any diabetic as well. Uh, but of course, you know, talk to your doctor and do more research if you are di diabetic or have any type of medical issue. Anyway, that's enough for me. Let's be back in about 40, uh, yeah, 44 minutes at this point. See ya. Let's see where we're at. Blood glucose was at 73. 84 went up a little bit. Not terrible, but, and that's still a good score for me at least. Now ketones, above or below 0.5. Right there at 0 0.5. So I went down 0 0.2 both times. Pretty consistent there uh, in terms of the changes here. So I'm too, I'm too hungry. I've been fasting. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Uh, keto dieters, stay away from the alanine. 
and uh, diabetics probably as well, or anyone who wants to keep their blood sugar low. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. Any keto supplement that has this in it is not a keto supplement. That simple. So uh, I'm barely in ketosis, hanging by a thread. I'm going to go and uh, take care of uh, food and everything. So please uh, yeah, feel, free, feel free to subscribe to our channel if you uh, want to see more of these videos because they are coming. And uh, check out pricelaw.com slash alanine, I believe, if you do want to buy some alanine for other reasons. And, uh, and of course, you know, stay tuned to our Keto Supplements blog post. I'm updating it as I get more of these videos published so you can see how things have, uh, have, have affected me, both the supplements and the different fats and oils that we'll, we'll be testing all of them. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye-bye. things I do for you guys and gals.